What's up, Glam Girl Squad? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Andel. If you are new here, hey, boo. What's up? So, boo. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something very different, and I'm going to be following one of Painted by Spencer's makeup transformation. In this video, I'm going to be doing the Barbie transformation. One, because I'm the Haitian Barbie. But I was going to say, I used to me. Okay, I'm so tea. Woo -woo. So, it's only right that I do the Barbie transformation. And if you guys aren't familiar with Painted by Spencer, he is... A breath of fresh air in the makeup world. I love his artistry. He has just such a way with his brushes, his hands, and just like his free spirit and fun that he has with this look. He actually reminds me of a Kevin Aquan, a new age style Kevin Aquan, just by the way that he just glams. It just looks so airbrushy, so refreshing. So I will definitely put his YouTube video link down in my description box below. But today I'm going to see if I can actually get that type of painted by Spencer look I'm gonna try my hardest I think I could do it but I'm probably gonna have my own like and out twist to it and one thing that I love about him is the fact that he just says like makeup is so personalized like everyone has their own way of doing things he takes it so light it's never too serious so that's just my vibe so I feel like why didn't I try on his look so I'm gonna try my best wish me luck let's get into this this is the glam girl squad level lifestyle don't stand too close to my Welcome on back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Gentlemen, I hope you're holding on to your seats. And ladies, you better be holding on to your gentlemen for this because today we're going for a full B glam Barbie moment. Now, disclaimer, if you're a boy or girl who does not appreciate the full coverage, full glam fantasy. So first you guys see that I tried my best to recreate the background. Um, I got this sheet from Amazon. I can put the link down below if you guys want to grab it. It's just a pink silk um, bed sheet and I tried to iron it out. Don't mind the little wrinkle wrinkles. But we're here for the makeup, focus on the makeup. To start, I'm using the Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum from Fresh Beauty and I'm applying this onto the face with a makeup wedge. Okay, Spencer, I have been watching your videos for a while and one of the things that I got is that he loves the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration and typically he uses the face cream so I went and got the face cream but now he switched over to the serum and I'm just like... <laughs> but for today's video I am going to be using the face cream and the one thing that I noticed is that he applies the face cream and any type of face moisturizer with a sponge which is definitely different for me because typically I apply it with my hands. This sponge is from Lara Lifestyle. So I just grabbed a little bit of here and he, ooh, it's cold. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply it all over my skin like he does. Now that I have the skin prepped, I'm going to go in with the Luminous Foundations from Anastasia Beverly Hills and apply this with a beauty blender. I ended up mixing two different shades. Okay, so I don't have that foundation, but when I think of Luminous, I also think of Radiant. So I am going to go in with my NARS foundation. I am in the shade Moria. M-O-O-R-E-A. This is actually my first time using this foundation, so we're just gonna shake it up a little bit. And apply this with a beauty blender to get the perfect warm undertone I wanted because I struggle sometimes with beauty different Hold on, y'all see how he's like flicking the foundation on the top? I can't, I can't explain. He has like a nice like little flick to his wrist, like a little, like a little, like something like that. <laughs> And then he also takes the foundation down the neck and the body, so we're gonna do that too. This foundation is looking very yellowy on camera, but it doesn't look like that in person, so I'm not sure if it's my lighting, so just excuse that. Next, to contour, I'm using the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream, and I'm beginning to place this right underneath the cheekbones. Wait. So I don't have that, but I do have the Juvia's Place foundation sticks that can also be used as a contour. So I am going to 
do as Spencer does and I'm going to apply it. Looks like he's applying it with a kind of like dense brush, which looks like something like this brush here. I'm placing just a bit of it in the areas I want. So here's a little method that helped me understand how to contour and highlight on different skin tones, boring and less on the highlighting. This may make a little more sense once I begin applying the Okay, hold on, Spence. Let's just blend this out. Once we and then he blends it out with a sponge. Out, it's time to move on to highlighting. To do so, I'm hold using on, hold on. Wait sponge. for me, wait for me. But he blends the contour out with a sponge. <laughs> this way, concealers from Too Faced in two different shades. I'm mixing shades Mahogany and Chestnut. When I think of Barbie makeup, the first thing... So I do have that. Y'all know if you guys haven't been following me for a while, you know I love my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Butterscotch. So um, he doesn't go in with the applicator. It looks like he gets it from the back of his hand and then puts it on a flat concealer brush. He gets really close to the nose. And then he takes it really high up underneath the um, lash line. Prize in that category for sure. Okay, wait for me. I don't really know what made me think of doing this Barbie inspired look. I think I was just kind of surprised by your guys' reaction to my last video where I, where I would. Okay, so we got the concealer on. And this is typically what I would do with like a makeup look that I'm doing. So this is kind of in my ballpark. Softer with the makeup, and you all seem to really like it, which of course made me so happy because and it just takes it up. Honestly, I. I love doing soft, more realistic everyday looks, but I also know that a good the handful of y'all watching want to see a heavy glam too. So I'm really just trying to switch up. it up as much as possible to give you guys some and diversity. Flips. The primer in the meantime, before we add the eyeshadows. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what is happening on my nose? I don't have a, I don't have the Spencer flick on the wrist. I don't have that. I just gotta fix this. I already, I already, I just started to have to fix things. I just gotta fix this because and then if it is pat it. Okay, I need another beauty blender <laughs> because this is not working. And then he takes the product and applies it up here. So this is what we're looking like so far. For the center of the forehead, I'm mixing the concealer and the foundation before applying it. Since I want I feel like her concealer is a little bit lighter than mine. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go in with a lighter concealer because I feel like hers is just a little bit brighter. I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty um, Overachiever Concealer. Yeah, he had something like this going on in the beginning. But yeah. That's better. To the forehead, we'll tone it down a bit. And then I just slowly blend this back and forth, back and forth, slowly diffusing it upward. <laughs> I guess it would help us see better if my hand wasn't blocking everything. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, filming these tutorials and getting the right angle so you can see everything is a heck of a lot trickier than it looks. But it's a work in progress. I think I'm getting better, I think. Okay, so now that we have our highlight plate. Okay, so I don't normally conceal my chin. Okay. I'm using the Huda Beauty's baking powders and shades Kunafa and Coffee Cake to set everything. I'm beginning with the lighter of the shades, which is Kunafa, and using this to set the under eye area with So I do have that. This is one of my favorite setting powders, but it looks like he's going in with a kind of like beauty sponge. It's big and I don't have it. So I do have this little white sponge. I wanted the concealer to dry When do we get a nose highlight? When do we get the nose? Did I miss the nose highlight? It's there. Let's go, Spence. So I'm just gonna go in with my beauty um, blender because it's not it's not looking the same. So let's try with my beauty blender because this gives it more of the look that it's looking like on camera. 
don't think they look good on camera because in the mirror it doesn't look that good. Setting the rest of the face, but with the darker powder shade called the coffee cap. You'll notice this. And I don't have the darker shade, so I'm gonna go in with my um, Ben Eye palette, and it has a bunch of different colors there. So I'm just going to use probably this color here, and then just like just press it against the rest of the face. I need to get that beauty sponge. Sold. All right, so I went in with a little extra powder underneath the eyes to bake in that area and diffusing the edges of that so nothing is harsh. And finally, I'll be blunt. So I think he goes back in with Kunafa and bake. This is the Ben Eye powder. Yes, the old school Ben Eye powder. But he doesn't take this one all the way out. It looks like he just focuses it. Looks like he just focuses it in this triangular area. But I'm gonna apply it in this area and then I'm just gonna wipe it off like he's doing. Oh, what? All right, so I went in with a little extra powder underneath the eyes to bake that area and diffusing the edges of that so nothing is harsh. And finally, I'll be blending out the nose highlight before setting it with the powder and baking down the center. Okay, so we are going to um, defuse the nose highlight. I like this trick, it actually dries down and it gives like a nice pretty defined like line. And then we set the nose highlight, which I've never done, but hopefully this is just straight. Okay, so it looks like he is Bringing the setting powder down the jawline. Oh, boy, okay, I got a little too excited. So, like he just puts it in the center. So like right here, and then he brings it over here. Um, I typically don't do this, but we're turning into a Barbie. Um, what must you have fair? Mete put, mete back, what's that? So map ton to the end to see what's going on. And what you see me doing here is just blending out any of the concealer on top of her lids that may have creased. And I'm setting it with the same powder we used from her. So this is actually a really good trick. And then we're gonna set it with um, that face powder. So I'll just set it with that. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, okay, okay. She's coming together. I usually bronze before I bake. I wanted to switch it up a bit today and try something different. It was kind of well, nice now you switch the things up, set. To diffuse out the edges of where I placed the baking powder, so maybe I'll have to try out this so. method again soon. Mommy, and applying this to all the areas I want to bronze up and deepen a bit. Although I usually bronze before I bake, I wanted to switch it up a bit today and try something different. It was kind of nice because it, it, it helped diffuse out the edges of where I placed the baking powder. So maybe I'll have to try out this method again soon. This looks like he gets the product and then he pinches the brush and then, okay. Girl, we coming a long way. Let's see. <laughs> I'm like, nah. so yeah, he uses the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I don't have, but I do have the Anastasia Brow Definer. Um, it's not as, it's not as like, I guess precise as the Brow Wiz. Um, is the benefit precisely my brow in the shade number four? So my brows right now, I normally would have done them like first step. So now we're doing them now. We're still baking. We still have the face going on. It's still like everything is still, still settling in. So it's a little bit different. But now it looks like he doesn't comb the brows here is up. Just holding the end. And honestly, he's just like going in like this motions. Which I... It looks like a little thin brow. Okay. What do you guys think about the brows? They're just not how... I'm just used to... I guess what I'm saying is I'm used to having like the super glam brows. So, and like cleaning up the bottom and like... So they look different, but they're cool. So I don't have that palette, but I do have the Berries by Juvia's Place palette and it has very similar pinks. 
So and I'm using is the matte pink shade in the palette called Texas Made. Just kind of imagine the day my own daughter picks her very first Barbie and what that Barbie would look like. So basically, I imagined this colorful, sparkly look that incorporated pinks and purples and diamonds and lashes and the whole thing. So that's what we're going to end up doing for today. Lashes and the whole thing. So that's what we're going to end up doing for today. What I'm using here is the Huda Beauty Metal Melted Shadow and Shade Bubblegum to brighten the inner half of the eye. And I'm using it's my It's kind of hard to try to it with it your out. hands when your nails are this long. Um, it looks like the purple color from the Melissa Edward palette, but I have this color in the Juvia's place. And then he puts it right along the crease. back to that pink eyeshadow we used a minute ago i'm smoking this out on the bottom lash line to act as a backdrop for the dramatic bottom lashes we do later and then with the same purple later and then with the same purple shade i'm running this pretty close to the bottom lash line with a detailed like blending so? brush his is a bit more diffused than mine i think it's just his brushes that he's using mine looks a little bit more harsh <laughs> but overall it looks okay Okay, then so with the now one size gel eyeliner and shade Bodacious Black, I'm going to run this through black, the waterline. Which I have, I'm so, so happy. We're going to be using this against the waterline. Happy for Patrick Stara and his new beauty brand, One Size. I was really excited to try out this pencil Ooh. because I'm a sucker. And this is pretty and for dark. Patrick Stara and his new beauty. Using this on the upper lash line, bringing it upwards towards the corner, and then blending that out with a smaller shadow brush. I feel like having that deep black shadow at the very outer corner of the eyes is in line with that typical Barbie eyeshadow look. So even though it's not something I'm always the biggest fix. Hold on. I never did that before. Okay, let's see. And then he just blends it out. So let's see. See, I don't want to mess this up because you can go from cute to raccoon so fast. So I'm just going to blend. Before that gel liner completely sets, I'm dipping into the black eyeshadow from the eyeshadow palette we've been using and buffing that gel liner out to get a really seamless finish. Okay, so I don't have a black inside this palette, but I do have the one size palette. Yes. I have the One Size Palette by Patrick Star, and there is Turban Legend, which I can use to then just buff this out. Okay, I think that is... <laughs> from the One Size brand, I'm using the Point Made Liquid Eyeliner to line the lash line, starting from the inner corner and bringing it outwards to meet up with the gel pencil we had just used. And I'm being sure to get as close as possible to that. Okay, so I do have that. So he is just lining the lash line with it. line because we don't want to see any gaps so he did go ahead and he included where he got his rhinestone from which i thought was really dope um so i did go ahead and get them from amazon they did come primed so they did come within the first like two days shipping and these are all the rhinestones that come inside the packet he uses these rhinestones the cool thing about this actual glitter packet is the fact that it comes with um, a utensil to grab the rhinestones and then it also comes with that white pencil that he's using that he is using to measure out Where he's putting the stones. Okay, so he's using lash glue to apply them. It looks like he puts one at the top of Okay <laughs> I could breathe I'm not Lashes and they've really become one of my more recent obsessions. I used to be so intimidated by putting so he takes it up Okay Mind you we still baking which is crazy to me and then he goes in with some um, shorter lash hairs, which I Actually might have um Lara lifestyle doesn't offer under lash the um under lash line lashes we don't offer those so it's something that i just have to make for right now but if you guys want me to add them to the website or see if i can find some let me know down in the comment section down below and i can make it happen i can make anything happen 
Um, my faux mink last collection is going to be dropping later this month. So this is a last style angel. I'm gonna be trimming down the hairs to make the underline lashes that Spencer has. I'm going to grab the Lara Lifestyle Lash Tools, which is the applicator and the scissors. I'm gonna take the lashes off of the tray. So after he goes ahead and he has that final rhinestone like we just did on this eye, it looks like he goes ahead, he wipes off that setting powder, he adds in some lashes, um, he adds some mascara in, and he just fills in the entire other eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do that. I'm gonna go finish the other eye off camera and I'll be back and ready to jump into some highlighter. But so far, let me know what you guys think about this video so far in the comment section down below. I think I'm doing an okay job. I mean, I'm not Spencer, but I think I'm doing okay. Thumbs up this video so far if you like it. Smash that like button. Smash that like button because just thumbs up this video so far. I put a lot of energy into it. So just thumbs it up. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's very like soft. The skin looks very nice. The jewels are the extra added touch. Um, the under, the only thing I have right now that's a little problem for me is these little bottom lash hairs. Um, they might be a little too much. They feel like a little too much for me, but comment down below if you think they're okay so far. But what do you guys think about the look so far? I'm going to go ahead and I wanted to show you guys how it's easy it is to apply your lashes using the lash tools from the Lara Lifestyle. So I literally just grab the lash within the lash tool. I look down like that. Then I just grab the front of the lash and I just press that. I grab the other end of the lash and then I just press that down and look how easy that was to apply your lashes I mean this is the best tool to ever be invented it's super affordable head over to the lifestyle.com Spencer did go in and then just use some mascara underneath so I'm just gonna do that this is the benefits bad gal bang mascara which is literally one of my favorites so then he goes in with some highlight. So he has the Wet n Wild highlighter, which at the end he said that he didn't really like it so much. So I don't have that and sounds like it's okay if I don't. I'm gonna go in with the NARS. This is a double take. Chalky texture, um, but hey, we live and we learn. To blush up the cheeks, I'm using the Wonderlust blush from Buxom. Wait, and then I believe he put some highlight on the forehead, which I might have missed. Okay. So for the blush, it looks like he just puts the blush like right on top of the highlight, um, which the, I was wondering why the highlight came up so high. But that, now that kind of explains it, so he literally just puts, which I'm probably gonna use. So I don't have the blush that he has, but I have BH Cosmetics. They just dropped their Bellini blush palette. It has six different blushes inside. So one of these blushes have to work. Um, so I think I'm gonna try just maybe, I mean, Barbie has really rosy cheeks. So I'm just gonna go across all of them and all the top three. Okay, that looks pretty. So, ooh. And the good thing about, I guess you can tone this down. I don't really wear a lot of blush, but I gotta tone down the other side. The other side is giving too pink. So now he goes in with a cream contour as a lip liner, which, mind blown, okay? Um, never done that before. I've heard about it never did it so now let's see what that's giving so basically he just takes the same you may have heard me say it in cream the past, liner a little trick of mine from... that i use often is to use the same contour cream i use on the face and use it as the lip liner it really makes for the perfect liner shade for a nude lip make the lip a bit more vibrant i'm using a laura mercier cream lipstick in the shade rose ultimate and placing this in the center of the lip you already know okay hold on let me let me get this liner what do you guys think so far? I'm nervous. Um, and then he follows it up with a pink Lord Mercier lipstick, which I don't have, but I do have a pink lipstick. And then he also touches it up with a nice, pretty shimmery gloss. So I'm gonna grab both of those and I will be right back. Love a nude lip. But for this look, I needed something with a bit more color to it. So this hot pink was the perfect touch to spice up this lip combo. 
And then with this e.l.f. Cosmetics gloss in the shade A Moment, we're gonna get a glossy finish to this lip. And this was the perfect gloss for this because it has these tiny little glitter pigments in it, which really helps tie in the complete look. And finally, I'm using Huda Beauty's Glow Cocoa Mist to set the makeup and to hydrate the skin. And that lady- Hold on, boo-boo. And then to finish it off, he did use Huda Beauty's spray. I don't have that spray, but I do have Charlotte Tilsbury spray. And this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So he just like- And then he gets a fan. I do have this from the palette, so I'm just going to blow this. So now we're gonna move into the hair part of this video, which isn't actually included inside of their video, but let's jump into the hair. So this is a Snob Life wig that is dyed, a little bit of plucking, minimal plucking. Don't clock it, okay? Minimum baby hairs. She doesn't have any baby hairs in her look, but so I want baby hairs in mine. The braid kind of sets it off, but I'm trying to think, how can I do that braid? So you guys, I'm almost there. The only thing that I'm trying to figure out is how to do that braid. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna braid this and I'm gonna have to hide it some way. One, because it doesn't even match. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, you guys. I'm just going to brush the hair back. Put this bundle of Snob Life hair. I'm gonna preserve this bundle, so I'm just going to see if I can clip it on like that. Okay. Now let's see if it's going to, if the hair is going to just fall over. Wait, my hair is so dark. It's like blockity block, 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 block. Okay, maybe if I just like do a little hairspray, like. Something like this. Like, you know, the that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we took our naturally gorgeous model from this and transformed her into Barbie. It. that is the end of this makeup tutorial and honestly leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think of this look i think i did a pretty good job i'm not even gonna hold you the real part that had me tripped up was the actual braid that needed to go around my head that you probably don't even notice right now because the bundle is actually like a brown and the hair was dyed in black so um i think that was really the craziest part for me other than that everything went pretty seamlessly the eyeshadow look which i thought was gonna be super hard but honestly Honestly, he did a really good job explaining how to do it and it came out pretty bomb the jewels the jewels and the gems they look super cute the other hard part was doing the small little um, bottom lash line lashes Lara Lifestyle is gonna need to get some bottom lashes because that was probably the hardest part. Other than that, I love the technique to it. I feel like I love how my nose is looking right now. It looks super like small, like button nose. Um, painted by Spencer. If you ever get a chance to see this video, you are super talented, okay? But one of the greatest, and thank you for sharing your tricks and tips on this platform for girls like me that just wanna learn how to be a Barbie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs it up because I work really hard on it. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this video and also hit that subscribe button if you guys wanna see more content like this. Um, yeah. But the Haitian Barbie is out. Molly. Ooh. <laughs> but y'all, the Haitian Barbie is out. Molly. And I will be tired.
Love you. Bye.